To stall or not to stall? Is that even a question? Hi everybody, and welcome to another Scotty Karate video. Today we'll be going over stalling with your nunchucks. Now, most people get a pair of nunchucks, they start swinging around, and that's great. And depending on the chucks you have, you might have some nice nunchucks. But the problem is, is if you don't know how to stall, doesn't matter if they're expensive, cheap, plastic, foam, or wood, at the end of the day, you're going to hurt yourself. So this is the basics that most people skip, or they don't even understand that they're doing it, if they're doing it all. So that's what we're going to be going over today in today's Bunkai Showcase. Ow! Okay, today we're going to be going over how to stall. So it's a really easy concept, but it takes some practice, and everybody needs to practice. So start with your nunchucks. It doesn't matter if you use a high grip or a traditional grip. Either way, you're going to have to learn how to stall. And all that is is basically taking your nunchucks and swing them and having them stop. All right. So here's how we're going to do this. So to give you an example, if you have your nunchucks in a traditional stance, all you're going to do is swing them down and see how it stalls at the bottom. What you need to do is make sure that you stall before you get to where you're wanting to end the movement. So because of that, what I'm gonna do is swing it down, swing it down, and right about here, about 45 before we end our motion, I'm going to stop the momentum and let the chucks come to a dead and just let them die there. So what that does is it prevents you from having the backlash and the whip of the nunchuck. So as you're swinging them down, they don't come back up and pop you or hit you somewhere else. You can control exactly where they stop. So because of that, you need to learn how to stall. And that's all this is. They're taking it, letting it die. So what that does for you is as you're doing your movements, if I'm over here and I'm doing these and it starts hitting my back because I'm not stalling correctly, what's going to happen is it's going to start causing damage to you. Okay? And you can only do that a few times before you actually start hurting yourself. Hitting the back of your head, hitting the front of your head, Hundreds of videos, if you haven't seen them yet, you should go check them out, they're funny. But at the end of the day, you don't want to do that. So one way to prevent that is learning how to stall. So just like any motion, you have to know where it is and you have to practice. So as you're swinging, you're going to let it die. Like, just as you're swinging, let it go down. Stop right before. The momentum will stop and it'll swing a little bit, but it'll the inertia of the nunchucks will stop. Same way going back. Start up and then let it die. So what I'm doing there, same thing, same principle. I'm taking, use my power to swing up the nunchucks right about here, about 45 before I want them to stop. I'm stopping my motion and then letting them fall. So it's letting the motion die. So as, I, as you can see, I can swing pretty hard and it's not hitting me at all. So that's the idea. So once you start doing that, you can start stalling on all your motions. That way you don't have any problems with striking yourself or coming around the body part you want without hurting yourself. Fun fact, stalling is how people get to do motions like that and make people freak out because they think you just racked yourself with nunchucks. So with that, that's how you stall. It's a simple process. All you need to do is learn how to take the nunchucks and prevent them from striking you, but keeping the motion. So, as your inertia is flying, you stall it. You stop it where it's going, right before you need it to stop. This is practice. Practice, practice, practice. There is no easy way to do this. There is no way to say you're going to be a master at the end of the day, but you do have to practice it. So, get out there. Go practice. So, have you been stalling? Is it a technique that you haven't been practicing at all and hurting yourself? Or is it something that you've been doing you just didn't know what you were doing? It's very common, but you do have to practice it and know what you're doing because how are you going to teach someone else how to do it if you don't know how? So if you've been doing it, want to learn how, just learning, want to increase it, great. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, the more you train, easier the fight. 